I have a dime. It's in this protective case because it's kind of special. It has a hole drilled in it. Now you can kind of see that copper there. But in the center of that copper divot, there's actually a tiny, tiny hole. It's about 50 microns across, 50 micrometers across. Very, very small. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shine the laser light through that and project onto the wall. We'll see what light does when it goes through uh, a tiny, tiny hole. This is really hard to get lined up exactly because the laser beam is small and the hole is small and it's dark. We're lined up now and I can turn the camera so that we can see what it looks like on the wall. and you can see that the image is blurred out. Now it is rather faint, so I can understand if you're not so impressed. What we'll do is we'll go over and I'm gonna project instead onto a piece of paper much closer. Now I've got a piece of paper, I'm projecting the laser beam onto that, and you can see that the laser beam is spread out into a large central blob with some rings around it, concentric rings that progressively get much fainter the further away. This is called an airy disk after George Airy, the person who discovered it. And this is what the image of a star would look like in a telescope if there were no turbulence in the Earth's atmosphere and no seeing. This is the perfect image of a star.